What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about Chucky in this video here today. We'll be talking about season four and we'll be talking about the future of the franchise beyond season four. Talking about the movie that we know Dom Mancini has stated is in development. Now, this is coming from Cinestealth, who this is kind of just going to be piggybacking off of what the Beyond reporter, I think he, th that account on Twitter is the first person to have reported this, this rumor, that we could be getting a season four renewal announcement next month. Now, Cinestealth has come out today with a lot of rumors. As of the time of this recording, it's tonight, and this is going to be morning by the time it's uploaded. But they've put out a lot of tweets on their page, and if you're familiar with Cinestealth, you know they've been a, been right about a lot of things in the past, but they've made it a point to label that this is just a rumor. doesn't mean it's going to happen. But what they're saying about Chucky is as follows. Chucky Season 4 has allegedly been greenlit, and an announcement will be made soon. Now, of course, we are reporters saying next month. We'll see if that actually happens. This announcement will also let us know it's the final season. I will share my thoughts on that. They go on to say that Untitled Chucky Movie, which again, Don Mancini said a new movie is in development. Untitled Chucky Movie is stalled for now, but expected to bring back Fiona Dorf. Not sure who she'd play. Not sure who Fiona would play because the hot rumor is that it will be a prequel set either before the first film or between films. I know she played Charles for TV flashbacks, but I don't think that can sustain a whole movie, so I don't know what's up. I will say just to start off, I do think that Fiona Dorf demonstrated enough in the tank from what I saw to go a full length film as Charles Lee Ray in human form. I think she absolutely could do it. I would buy it. I would be on board for it as long as it is executed well. I think she could be very convincing in the role. That's just my two cents on that. And in respect to season four being the final season, I would not be against that at all. Wrap up the trio storyline wrap up Chucky storyline with them, get them away from each other, and let's call this show quits. I feel as though what's going to happen with this show is that it's failing to do what it probably should have done, and that's keeping certain characters around for too long. Like, I know a lot of people out there like myself who enjoy these characters, we enjoy the trio, but at the same time, you have to start asking yourself this. It's a TV show. If you keep getting renewed, when is Chucky going to start going after different targets? It's not going to always be enticing to say, oh, Chucky got renewed again. Oh, what's going to happen this season? Oh, well, you know, last season he chased Lexi, Devin and Jake at the beach. This season he's chasing them at uh, Disneyland. Next season, he's chasing, guess who? Lexi, Devin, and Jake in Paris. Next season, oh, at the White House again. Oh, in hell next season. Like, no get them out of here and if this is what the format is going to be if we're not going to do different things with different sets of characters each season i can probably see why this would grow stale not only to us as the as the viewers but maybe to some investors of the show that's just me putting my own two cents on what could be happening behind the scenes creatively the show doesn't seem like it's going to do anything beyond the trio. So you need to wrap up the trio story. And if they come over into a new Chucky film, that's fine. They can come on over. I still would argue this, though, when it comes to the current standing of the trio. Lexi, out of the three at the moment, is the one that has the current strongest connective tissue to come over into the movies. L Devin and Jake have been basically sidelined into nothing characters who I still enjoy seeing. But they have been giving almost nothing to do that weighs in comparison to the hefty plate that Lexi has to still go toe to toe and go after and hunt down Chucky. Chucky has her sister. Chucky has put her through the most hell so far as of late. And it's because of that sister ties that you would have a more viable argument to have Lexi come over into the movies, not Devin and Jake just to ride her coattails. You have to come up with something for those two because right now I see why some people think that they are just there and they have nothing going on for those characters. We want better for Devin and Jake. Now, in terms of a prequel movie, I would not be against seeing that. A Lakeshore Strangler film set before the events of what transpired at the opening of Child's Play, a whole entire movie documenting his life prior to being this doll, 
the Lakeshore Strangler. We could see him even infiltrate Nika's family if you want to incorporate that into the movie. See him killing other people, other random things. Do it in the vein of Joker if you want to. Something with Fiona Dorff starring as Charles Lee Ray, uh, obviously paying homage and respect to her father in the iconic role that he bring, brought to life first before her. And work your way up to a tremendous ending recreating the opening of the original child's play film i think that could be a hit it all comes down to execution and i think that fiona dorf would absolutely knock that out of the park doing movies in between no i'd rather see a film titled child's play the lakeshore strangler to let us know it's the child's play franchise and it is a prequel to all the movies we've gotten i wouldn't be against it I also wouldn't be against just seeing this show end and us continuing to get stories with Chucky in the doll that he is uh, with Brad Dorr vo voicing the character and going on about that. I wouldn't be against that at all. But you guys can let me know what you think about these rumors down in the comment section below. I just think that at this present time, I have lost trust that the writers of this TV show are going to ever really do anything outside of the box. I think we are going to continue to be stuck with Lexi, Devin, and Jake. I feel like we will never actually leave those characters alone. And because of that, I would rather you wrap their story up, move on from them, and pick up something new in a new movie. And if that happens to be a prequel movie, then so be it. Let me know again what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and name is a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.